This is a guide on how to speedrun Air Force One on Perfect Agent. The time I set in the video is 2 minutes and 1 second, but your target time is 3 minutes 3 seconds. So the first thing you might notice is that you don't start in the same place I start at in this mission, but I'll show you how to get that at the end, but for now I'll just uh, show you my playthrough. And you want to quickly just get the suitcase and uh, just run past everything, run past these guys, they don't really matter. He may try and punch you, but um, yeah, he actually got a hit on me. Um, but get into this little vent and we're going to go up and see the president. This level's not too bad actually. Um, you'll probably spend most of your time just talking to the president. That wastes quite a lot of your time, but um, in terms of completing uh, perfect agent levels, this is probably one of the easiest and also one of the quickest. In fact, it's not too bad in terms of enemies either. I only get 9 kills in this run, and most of them is while under the influence of the combat boost. So, equip the combat boosts and wait for the president to say, um, I'm in your hands, and a cutscene will play, and you'll want to just leave the door open really and just sort of uh, make sure it's open for you. And the minute the cutscene plays, take both combat boosts. And what you'll notice is the. Um, oh, First of all, get your time mine out because you want to use that to detach the ship. Um, and what you'll notice is that time is actually moving, um, in, in game time is actually moving slower. So this will improve your overall score. There are a few Mr. Blondes in this room, so if possible, aim for the head and it, it does really kill them much quicker. You shouldn't need to worry about Trent too much, um, but try and milk as much of uh, this uh, slow motion mode as you can because it really does help in taking out these enemies. Um, really you're kind of at the mercy of the president here and how long he decides to take to actually get to the escape pod but just do your best job to take out as many of these enemies here as you can and, and hopefully he will actually meet you at the escape pod in a good time. So once the president's secure uh, now you just have to make your way back to the area that uh, you first met the president there will be a few guards to take out, but possibly not too many. I just ran by that one. And uh, you'll notice that the, the time on my uh, clock here is actually over two minutes, and that's because of the slow motion. Um, there are a few enemies to take out here, but um, I actually don't even kill these guys. I just run in and press the button. If you want to be a little bit more cautious, you could uh, kill those two guys, but you might not need to. So now I'm going to show you how to uh, start the level at a different point in Air Force One. And I'm going to show you this from where you press the button in the previous level. Depending on how you finished Airbase uh, will impact how you start the next level. So um, in my perfect agent guide I uh, entered the top of the plane. But actually to get the better starting point you have to enter um, from below the plane which will actually start you in the plane's cargo bay. So. Uh, we enter this elevator right there and it brings you down to this laser grid below Air Force One. Um, I take out these guys here because the grids can, the grid can be kind of tricky to navigate and the last thing you want is people shooting at you while you're doing this. So go ahead and take out all the guards and then take out this one panel and what that does is it overloads the um, laser beams and it, it kind of puts them on and off periodically. I should have pointed this out earlier, but you can actually do this on agent mode, so don't worry about having to do all this on perfect agent. Um, in fact, doing it on perfect agent would be a really bad idea because you have to do stuff up at the top part of this level. So make sure you're doing it on agent, it's just going to make things a lot easier. And uh, that laser grid can be a little tricky, I should also say. Once you bump into one of the beams, it can have a tendency to either just drain all your health if you don't move away or it can bounce you back into the beam behind you, so just be careful at that part. The next level on the Perfect Agent speedrun is Crash Site Confrontation, and you can watch this by clicking on the video to the left. The individual crown for this level is Presidential Prediction, and it's a co-op crown, and you can watch that by clicking on the video to the right. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do this on Patreon by clicking on the orange button below. For as little as $1 a month, you can get early access to my videos, and it would really help me out. Another way to stay in touch is through Twitter, I'm pretty active on there and I'll probably follow you back if you message me. Or you can just subscribe for the next video. Thanks for watching and I hope this helped you set a good time.